Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Erin Janae here, back with another video. But you guys know I'm the TikTok queen because we're talking about another TikTok reaction video. Today we'll be reacting to my girl Dixie D'Amelio's brand new music video for her brand new song, One Whole Day, featuring Wiz Khalifa. Now I know a lot of y'all might have forgotten about Wiz Khalifa, but he is still alive, he is doing well, and he's still making music. So this is going to be interesting. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that lovely red subscribe button down below so you can join the family all right guys so i'm actually really excited for this music video i have listened to the song about five times so far and i like it now dixie is getting flack for this music video or let me say this dixie is getting flack for this song because people are like girl why are you sad you're a millionaire da -da 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 -da. now i feel like you know people like I feel like people forget that millionaires have issues too, you know what I mean? Like money doesn't solve all of your problems, especially when it comes to things like love, happiness, things like that. So, so I watched her kind of explain like what the song is about and basically it's, I think it's about Griffin and other guys that she may have dated and basically like how she's given herself one whole day to get over them or something. I don't know, it's better if you guys watch the video of her explaining it. If I can find that, I will link it down below. But enough of me yapping, let's get right into this reaction video. All right guys, so I have the music video up. Again, I just remind you guys because of copyright reasons, I cannot play the whole song straight through. So we'll be doing this in like short seconds and some parts of the music video may be cut out because I don't wanna get demonetized. Okay, okay. We be laying in my bed and you'd randomly get up and leave now if this song really is about griffin this is gonna be t but she said this is not like a diss track or anything like that like this is just truly her emotion so i'm giving her the benefit of the doubt for this and i'm really excited to see like her looks all throughout the music video from the clips that i've seen it's really like edgy and i feel like this really fits dixie like dixie's not like charlie who's like peace love happiness like dixie i think is a little bit darker and maybe a little bit more realistic, you know, relatable, I would say. But also, she's way closer to my age. Anyone under than me, e -e, the more that I gave, the more you held back. Now I am emotionally starved. Dixie looks good so far. I mean, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging the dark look. I like, I love Dixie with this long, wavy hair. I know she got extensions a little bit a while ago. I just really like that look for her. Just this dark look just fits Dixie. Love it. You're stuck on your ex, you're stuck in the past. Truth is that you really broke my heart. So, like I said earlier, I think she's saying after her breakup, she gave herself one day to just be really sad and then move on. I think, And I think she was talking about how she didn't want to give all of the, her time and effort to this guy who didn't even have the decency to tell the truth to her and stuff like that, so... We need to analyze these lyrics. Let me know if y'all want me to do a video where we like break down the lyrics and talk about all that, but let's get back to the video. One day, one whole day, I miss you really, really, really bad. And the single tear trickle down my face. So, first off, this car is disgusting. I don't know if it's supposed to be covered in mud, dirt, or whatever. But again, just loving this dark, like bad B style that Dixie has going on right here. Now this look is also cute. I like the, Dixie is just, just Dixie seems like a very relatable person. So I like when she changes up her style and stuff like that. Um, this is cute. No more feelings like you best. I'm cringing at those memories. Also, so I know I would love to be in a pool of flower petals with a bathing suit on and sunglasses, relaxing by myself. Must be nice. Griffin, you left her alone at a party? Again, this may not even be about Griffin, but I, I have a feeling that it is. Anybody, truth is that you really broke my heart. Really broke my heart. Okay, I think this is, if again, if this is about Griffin, I feel like this makes sense because, what am I trying, I don't even know. Let's just keep watching. One day, I was really, really, Listening from, to the lyrics, do you know how embarrassing and how extra it must feel to have a public relationship, have that person 
cheat on you, even though he said he didn't cheat on her. And then you have to go through like that public humiliation of everyone knowing your business. That's just, I feel like breakups are already hard in general, but just having like 30 million people know your business and talk about your business and give their opinion about your business is a lot. Even if they're comforting you, you know what I mean? Just, it's overwhelming. It's not normal. I love when people use those cards. Okay, Dixie. Dixie has access to some amazing like clothing pieces. Like, I know it can be hard to be an influencer, but the clothes that y'all have access to, <laughs> give give me that life. <laughs> Look different. He still looks young. Awesome. Okay, comment down below if y'all have listened to a Wiz Khalifa song since Black and Yellow. That was the song back in seventh to eighth grade. I think that was around the time when the Pittsburgh Steelers won. That was the song back then. So I want to know, like, are y'all still listening to Wiz Khalifa or he's just not in your playlist anymore? Up your makeup. Late night, I stay up. Trying to get my money way up. Soon as I do some wrong, you let's oh, okay. Well. We'll go back. It looked like it was my girl Charlie. And I think I see Noah, but let's focus on Wiz. Okay, in the video we have, I don't know his name. I know I'm supposed to be TikTok queen. Roland? I really don't remember this guy's name. I don't think I follow him. Then we have my boy, Noah back. Noah back with the neck. Then we have Charlie, who else is here? Okay, so this explains why there was this picture um, or video surfacing of Wiz and Dixie. She was just really nice. And he was just really nice. It was because it was for the music video. In the fireplace. I wonder if she actually threw it in the fireplace. I feel like I take songs too literally. A lot of it is just, you know, just whatever makes it sound good. But, hey, I would do the same thing. Okay, Dixie, let's talk about these pants. I'm here for the pants. I'm here for that outfit. I don't know if I could pull it off, but she's pulling it off. It looks good. Wiz, I even like your outfit. Like, this is this is trendy vibes. I love it. I love the pants that unbuckle at the bottom. Oh, wow. Everyone's cameo is so short. All right, guys. So let's talk about the music video. And or let's talk about the music video and the song. In all honesty, I might like this song more than Be Happy. I think I do. Like, I don't know. Like, I still sing sometimes. I don't want to be happy. Just randomly. But, I don't know. I like this one a lot more. Yeah. Let's talk about the music quickly. And then I just want to talk about Dixie as a creator. But I think the music video was was good. I think it was unique. I like seeing her like try to destroy the car. I know she said it was so hard to destroy the car. So maybe they didn't get any good shots of her actually doing that. I like, I think her vibe in the song matches the vibe of Wiz Khalifa. Love the outfits. I think the cameo with her friends could have been a little longer. The guy's name is Ryland. Pretty sure his name is Ryland. Anyway, I think that could have been longer. But overall, good music video. If I had to rate it on a scale of one to five, I would give this... A 3.9 out of 5. I enjoyed it. I don't have any complaints. What I would would well, well now that I think about it, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a four. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I don't have any major complaints. I guess if I were to add anything else, I don't know. Maybe a little bit more like sadness going on. Like her, us actually seeing her being sad for that one whole day. I don't know, but that's kind of tapping into the be happy. Anyway. I really like the music video. I do like the song. I definitely think it's better than Be Happy. Um, I know Dixie's been getting a lot of hate just in general. I think her family is getting a lot of hate in general. And I think it's unfair. I definitely thought that Dixie dancing to Trisha Paytas saying the N-word, I think that was inappropriate. I think it was inappropriate. And I'm not going to say that it wasn't. 
Um, I think Charlie gets so much hate. She's only 16. It's ridiculous. And I just don't understand. So I guess all I really want to say is, guys, treat people with love. Like, I feel like people send all this hate towards like these influencers who do not deserve it like people saying that Dixie song sucks and stuff like that we all have freedom of speech and everything but I just feel like you should also be kind like if you don't have anything nice to say at the end of the day I think you should just keep it to yourself but it, then again I'm the only person that probably thinks like this I'm going off on a tangent but Dixie just in case you're watching this I just want to say I enjoyed your song I think this is definitely my favorite out of um this is my favorite out of one whole day be happy and naughty list this is definitely at the top for you. I like how Dixie's relatable and how she's not afraid to speak out about things. Um, of course, wasn't feeling the whole Trisha Paytas dance thing, but hopefully she learned from that experience. But yeah, so I'm, I'm just really curious to see how Dixie's career is going to change as she gets older and maybe even strays away from TikTok. I don't really see TikTok being around for like super, super long. Like I feel like it's going to be like a short thing, kind of like how Vine was. But I guess we'll see. Um, and she doesn't even do that, that. She doesn't do a lot of TikToks anyway. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. But overall, I liked it. You guys comment down below. Look, let me know what you guys thought about the music video and the song. Do you not like it? Do you like it? Let's talk down below in the comments. Again, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that lovely word subscribe button so you can join the family and check out some of my other reaction videos, guys. I have quite a few with TikTokers and some others with hip hop, R&B songs. So I think you guys will definitely enjoy that. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. And I will see you guys in my next video, which is actually coming really, 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 really soon. So make sure y'all stick around until the end so you can check out some of my other stuff. All right, bye guys. <laughs>